Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. Just out for a quick uh, one hour ride this morning. I'm racing this evening, so I just wanted to do a short ride this morning just to spin the legs out. Fairly easy with a couple of sprints, but I went out before my breakfast because I thought I would uh, ride down to the Velo Cafe and grab some breakfast there whilst I was only doing an hour. I don't really know if they do breakfast. I I'm hoping they do some sort of breakfast type food. We're about to find out. You know, it's a proper northern cafe where they do beans and toast. You don't get that down south, do you? But uh, it's a great morning to ride a bike. The sun's out. Obviously, I was out pretty early this morning because I went out before breakfast and uh, I didn't need my arm warmers or my leg warmers. You can tell that today's going to be a warm day. I rate that. In uh, yesterday's video, a lot of people were telling me to go to, uh, to go to Australia and to go to America. Unfortunately, at this moment in time, my budget doesn't stretch that far. I think wherever I'm going to go, it's going to be within Europe. Probably Belgium. I'm kind of set on Belgium now. It's somewhere I've never been. It's somewhere I've always wanted to go. So why not Belgium? So after, after my ride this morning, I had to quickly uh, head into town just to go to the bank. So I didn't, I didn't take my camera, but whilst I was in town, I got a phone call from my team to say, the new team kit has arrived. Ideally, I would have had my camera there when I went to pick it up, but it, it was just a little bit impractical driving all the way home to pick up my camera to drive back to pretty much the same location as where I was before. However, I've got three bags or four bags of, uh, of new cycling kit. We have got a skin suit here, some new shorts, a, uh, a, a gilet and a jersey. So I think I should try it on. I'm going to start with the uh, with the skin suit. So here is my skin suit and um, <laughs> the way you properly fit a skin suit is when you, well, when you've got a skin suit on, you shouldn't be able to stand up straight. So I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not. This is as straight as I can get unless I obviously unzip, unzip, my, uh, unzip my skin suit. This is because skin suits need to be almost plastered onto your body. So when you're in you know, a time trial position or, or when you're in a race position, you don't want any bagginess here and also no bagginess around the arms or the shoulders. However, I will only use this for short crit races and also, uh, and also time trials. The majority of riding and racing will be done in, in this, which is just your standard jersey and, uh, and bib shorts. The design isn't that much different this year. I mean, there's a little bit more, there's a little bit more black. The blue is also slightly darker, but let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of, of, the, new, of the new team kit? Me, personally, I really like it. It's made by Giordano, which is an Italian company. And you know, any Italian cycling manufacturers, whether that's bikes or clothing, is gonna be good quality, so. So this is my camera setup. I use a, a Sony a6500 with a Rode VideoMic Pro on the top. Now this microphone was perfect with my old camera because my old my, my Canon 70D was a DSLR and it was about twice the size of this and you know the microphone looked normal sat on top of it. However, as you can see now, the microphone is actually bigger, almost bigger than the camera itself. Yeah. Now I found out Rode do a... Um, basically like a micro version of what I've got on now. And the quality is practically the same. So I'm gonna head into Bolton, where there's an electrical store that sells Rode microphones. And hopefully they've got one of the micro ones that I can pick up and it will uh, fit this camera a little bit better, make it stand out a little bit less. Because another thing is a lot of the time I take this camera out on my bike now. So the smaller, more agile equipment that I can use, the better. Are you dizzy yet? All right, so this is the new microphone. This is the new one. It's called the Video Micro 
This is the top of the range one, the, the pro version. And this is just a micro version of the pro. So hopefully the quality is gonna be as good. So to give you a quick size comparison, this is the new one, this is the old one. Obvious size difference there. I'm just gonna put it on top of the camera, plug it in, and hopefully, and hopefully that sounds good. Today is my first outing in the new kit. So there has been a slight change in the schedule of events this, this evening. Let me explain. So the original plan this evening was to uh, go down to the local crit, which is what I do pretty much every Thursday night. However, in two weeks time, I have a two day race and uh, this, this race has been going for two years now. In the first year, I, I got eighth overall and the second year I got sixth overall. So this is a race I, I like to do well at. I know I can do well at and it is a race that I've targeted for the last two seasons. So uh, the first stage of that race is a team time trial. So tonight, instead of going to the crit, I'm going to the, uh, to the chain gang. My other teammates are gonna turn up. We're gonna set off about 30 seconds behind the group. You know, the five of us in our team time trial formation and try to catch the chain gang. That way we sort of work out who's the stronger rider, who's the weaker rider. Uh, we just sort of learn learn each other a little bit. It's good practice and good preparation before the race in two weeks time. Also, someone said in the comments of yesterday's video, do my neighbors not think I'm a weirdo walking around with a can of Nutella in my hand? Of course they do, I'm, I'm speaking to a camera. What's, what's normal about this? I'm not sure how much of that my GoPro captured. I know the battery was low and it ran out at some point, but basically, uh, yeah, it was a solid chain gang tonight. There's always a race halfway around to the top of the climb, and then from the top of the climb, I just carried on going basically and soloed it all the way home. So the last 10 miles were just full gas, time trial mode, trying to hold off the group, which I did just by about 20 seconds. Solid workout tonight. It always is with the chain gang. Kind of wanted to race, but, um, you know, we needed to practice that team time trial, which went pretty well. You know, perhaps there can be a couple of improvements, but we sort of figured out who are the stronger riders and who are also the weaker riders. And the reason it's important to do the team time trial practice is because when it comes to race day, the, the weaker riders will do shorter turns on the front and the longer riders will do longer turns on the front. In a team time trial, you are only as fast as your slowest rider. Little bonus for this evening. I've just put my ride on Strava and I have beaten the, uh, the climb. It's, only, it's a two minute climb. I beat the KOM by two seconds. So I did it in a time of two minutes, four seconds. My average power was 479 watts. My average speed up the climb, which is 0.8 miles long, was 24.8 miles an hour, which seems pretty fast. Considering you're going uphill, I don't really go uh, I don't really go chasing KOMs anymore, but it's always nice to pick one up every now and again, especially on a popular segment like this. There has been 4,030 people that, that I've done this that I've done this road. So yeah, good day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.